Guys, today I got a very exciting package in the mail. I, whoa, okay, dropping it. I got my Auric Beauty stuff. Ooh, okay, I have not been excited about a makeup launch in a long time. Well, like, seriously excited. And when I saw that Samantha Ravindal was coming out with this, I was like, thank you. Because if for the first time in a long time, I'm super, super excited about this makeup launch. And I also like, I really like Samantha Ravindal. I watch a lot of her videos and I, and I tend to have sort of a similar um, makeup taste as her um, when it comes to like glowy products and stuff like that. So when I saw she was coming out with a liquid luminizer, I was like, Mwah. I'm sure it's going to be beautiful. So yeah, today we're gonna do a little first impressions. It's kind of late in the day, so I don't know if we're gonna do a wear test, but I'm super excited. But anyway, so I picked up the uh, Glow Lust Radiant Luminizer in, I think this is the lightest shade, yeah, Morganite. And then I also picked up one of the cream shadows in uh, Temper. Originally I wanted to get Ego because I don't really have anything in my collection like Ego. However, I am I knew that I would wear one of the other shades more. And since it is kind of meant to be an everyday quick eyeshadow thing, I thought it'd be better to get a more like everyday shade. So I ended up getting Temper. I was gonna get Defiance at first, but then it was sold out by the time I was checking out. So I decided to get Temper instead, which is kind of like the rose gold. Let me know if you guys don't mind the blank backdrop because really it's a little bit easier for me to film in this spot because I'm not having to tear everything down and put it back up again and yada yada yada. So let me know if this is good for you guys <laughs> um, or if you don't really care either way or if you want the other backdrop back. Uh, let me know. All right, so when I saw this, the first thing I thought was that it was similar to the Hollywood Flawless Filter for a superstar youth, youth glow, which I know a lot of people have been singing. Singing? Wow, I cannot speak right now. A lot of people have been saying um, they think it's going to be similar to the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter, which is one of my favorite products. And because of that, my first thought when I saw this was, oh yeah, I'm gonna put that all over my face. <laughs> because that's what I love to do with the Charlotte Tilbury one, is sort of just use it as a base, like a tinted moisturizer. Um, and then just do a little bit of spot concealing as well. So I think that's what I'm gonna do today with this. Um, she did upload, Samantha did upload a video recently that was talking about how it is a little bit different and it is meant to be more of a liquid highlight rather than a base, but also that you can use it in any way you want. So I'm gonna put it all over my face. And then I will also go in and use it as a highlight as well. Yeah, so I'm gonna start out with this bad boy. So I know she did mention she wanted the cap to be really like stuck on there um, so that it didn't spill or anything. My only critique of that is that it makes it really difficult, I think, for people who have arthritis or people who have other mobility issues to get it off there. So that's something that I think could have been thought of, although I understand why she wanted a stronger cap, but maybe even if there was like a little ring on top or something, I don't know. I'm just spitballing here, but otherwise the packaging is absolutely beautiful. I love the little pump, and as a working makeup artist, having a product like this in a pump, oh my god, because I use the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter as a highlight for most of my clients, especially like my bridal clients, because it's just a really beautiful natural glow. Um, but it's such a pain in the ass to, to depot it and keep it sanitary. I have to like stick a disposable wand in there and then put it on my palette, it's a whole thing. But like something like this being in a pump would be so, so amazing. So if I like this, I think I might incorporate it into my kit and kind of, I'll slowly kind of weed out the Charlotte Tilbury stuff, but we'll see. And this is also massive. If you were just using this as a liquid highlight, this would last you forever. Um, so I just put a little bit on my little palette here. So um, typically how I like to apply these types of products is with a brush first and then just tap over with a sponge. So I'm gonna take my little Sephora full coverage foundation brush and I'm just going to work that in to my brush. It is a little bit thicker than the Charlotte Tilbury one. Okay, yeah, I'm so excited. I already did my skincare earlier today. Oh my god, <laughs> oh, so pretty. Oh my god. Okay, so as you can probably see, like it definitely gave me a little bit of coverage. It is very light coverage, which 
that's what I was expecting. It's not really meant to be a base product, but I love the way this looks. It looks so pretty and natural and glowy, but not like, you know, I have a highlighter all over my face. <laughs> I'm gonna try tapping it over with a sponge. This is just my little AOA $1 sponge. Yeah, that looks super pretty. Okay, I'm gonna go in with just the sponge on the other side and we'll see how that looks. This looks absolutely beautiful. It does give me very similar vibes to the Charlotte Tilbury. However, I think this one looks just a little bit more natural, a little bit more skin-like, but yeah, it's super pretty. Again, very light coverage, but like, I wasn't expecting this to be like a full coverage product. I, this is what I was expecting. And it looks really nice. For concealer and keeping with this like glowy hydrated theme, I'm gonna take a little bit of the Becca under eye corrector just under my eyes. We're gonna keep it like a pretty natural look today. Okay, and then I am just gonna apply a little bit of the Tarte concealer around the nose and on some blemishes. But I am gonna do a little on the chin here because it's pretty red and I have some blemishes. And we'll do just a little bit around here to add some extra coverage on those dark Bags, although I guess eye bags are in now. Like, what? what is that? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> um, no, I just I just think it's it's really funny. Anyways, all right, then I'm gonna tap that out. All right, now we're gonna try the eyeshadow. So like I said, I have the shade Temper. So it's got, in the bottom, there's a little cream shadow. It had like a thing, but I already lost it. So <laughs> there's that. And then in the top, there is like a glitter topper shade. So, when I was swatching this, this felt so, 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 so creamy and buttery and soft. I was like, in shock. Before I do that, I am just gonna add a little bit of powder. This is the Charlotte Tilbury uh, airbrush powder. And I'm just gonna tap that like on the lids, under the eyes, and then around the nose. Whenever I do a super glowy, like, look like that. I do like to do a little bit of powder, mostly in the center of the face to keep things from, you know, moving around too much. All right, I'm just gonna take my finger here. Oh my God, it's so creamy. Here we go, okay. Oh my God, oh, that's so pretty. Okay, y'all, that went on like butter. It like already looks almost all the way blended with just my finger. Okay, I'm gonna take this brush. This is one of my favorite brushes for cream shadows. Um, it's like kind of fluffy, kind of dense, kind of right in the middle, and I'm just gonna go in and buff that. Now you could definitely go in with a matte shade in the crease here, but I really don't mind more shimmery shades in the crease. I know I'm weird. I'm gonna take a little bit on my brush here, and just go underneath as well. That was like ridiculously easy, oh my god. All right, I'm gonna take the topper shade now. I will say when I swatched this, I wasn't super impressed, but I know it is supposed to be more of a topper shade, so that's that's kind of how I'm seeing it. It is quite dry, but oh, that's, okay, yeah, no, I eat my words. Yeah, that's super pretty over that cream shade. I'm gonna put a little in the inner corner too, and I'm kinda just gonna put this on the first half of my lid here. And then I'm just gonna go in with the shade Bribe from the Naked Reloaded palette and just go along the edge just to kind of add a brow bone highlight slash just kind of soften things a little bit. So yeah, that's the eye look that we're gonna do today. Oh my, it's so pretty and just kind of like very model off duty, very one and done. I really like that. Okay, I'm gonna go do the other eye. I'll be right back. Oh my god, you guys, I love, I love that cream shadow so, so, so much. Good god. Okay, I think I'm just gonna pop on some mascara for, or do my little mascara routine. I don't think I'm gonna put on falsies today. I do have a whole video that shows like my no falsies routine if you wanna go watch it. Okay, so I finished up my mascara routine and I think it really completed the eyes. I'm loving how it's looking. Um, and then I also added some bronzer. I just used the um, Physician's Formula bronzer. Um, and then I also went in and did my lips. Um, so I used the NYX 
Lip Pencil in Natural, and then the Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm in Diamond Milk to create. I kind of wanted it to be a similar vibe, okay, and I think we achieved that. <laughs> Um, so next, I'm gonna go in with a little bit more of the Oryx stuff as, to use like as a highlight. It's gonna take a little bit on my sponge. Yeah, that looks really pretty, and I can see that going over top of foundation really well. It is quite subtle, I will say, but I think really pretty. Now, what I'm wondering is this if this will show through blush, because I usually do my highlighter and then my blush. Um, so that is one thing that I'm curious about because some liquid highlights like don't really show up through the blush, so you have to do them over top. So we're gonna we're gonna test it out. I think I'm just gonna keep using my sponge. I'm gonna take my little Fenty cream bronzer, which is really <laughs> disgusting right now. Um, but this is the Fenty cream bronzer in uh, rose latte, and I'm just gonna tap that over top. So I think you can definitely see it through the blush, but keep in mind we also used it as a base and the blush did definitely tone it down. So if you wanted to really like amp this up, I think you would have to put it over top the blush. Should we try that? Should we just do that? Why not? We're already, we're already here. I will say this shade is a teensy bit darker than I would typically use as a highlight. However, I do think it's really pretty. Okay, all right, here's how we're looking. So everybody, let's just do a little rundown of these products. Okay, so first up, the Glow Lust. This is absolutely beautiful. It is very similar to the Hollywood Flawless Filter by Charlotte Tilbury. So if you already have that, like, I don't think you need to go out and get this. However, I will say I do like this a little bit more as a base. It just looks a little bit more natural, doesn't emphasize texture as much. Um, and I love the packaging on this one in that it's in a pump, which again, as a working artist, would make it so much easier for me. Um, in terms of it as a highlight, I thought it's it's really beautiful, very natural. Again, it is similar to the Charlotte Tilbury one. I do think this shade is a little bit darker. So typically I would go for a slightly lighter shade as a highlight, but I still think it's absolutely beautiful. So I definitely think this is worth trying. It's oh, so, 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 so pretty. And I think definitely if you're just wanting to support Sam and, and her brand and everything, it's you're not gonna be disappointed. It's a gorgeous product and really there's not a lot of things like this on the market. So um, I, I really, I really enjoy it. Um, I'm not gonna do a wear test today because it's already like 4 p.m. But let me know if you wanna see another video on this, maybe trying it in different ways, like uh, mixed with foundation or on top of foundation, that kind of stuff. I'm very excited to keep playing with this and see how it works in other ways. But how I used it today as a base and then a highlight, I think it's absolutely beautiful and I'm definitely going to continue to use this. And it's just gorgeous, it's just beautiful. It's also got, how much is this? This is one point, let's just compare, okay? So this is the Charlotte Tilbury. Um, this you get 1.18 uh, fluid ounces, and this one, this is 30 milliliters, which is about one ounce, and this is 1.18 ounces. So you do get a little bit more product in this, um, and they're around the same price point, so that is something to keep in mind too. Um, but yeah, so far so good. I'm gonna keep trying it out, and I'm so happy for Sam and her brand, and I think this is a perfect product for her to launch, um, and yeah. So let's talk about the eyeshadows. Okay, so the top, glitter shadow. Um, I think it's pretty. I, however, I don't think that it's anything necessarily revolutionary. I think there are a lot of other products like this on the market, and I wouldn't necessarily buy it if it was the topper shade alone. It is a bit dry, however, it is meant to be like a glitter shade, so I understand why. Um, that being said, I really don't think, I didn't get a whole lot of like fallout. It wasn't super messy or anything, so I do really appreciate that about it. Um, the cream shade, however, I think is what is truly transformative about this product and was truly unique about this product. It is such a unique texture. It is almost like whipped and moussey, which I have never used before in a cream shadow, and it went on like a dream. It was so easy to blend out. It didn't gunk up or get chunky. It didn't dry down too fast. Um, but it wasn't slip slidey either. It was just the perfect texture, I think. 
and it just blended out so easy. You could definitely just do this with a finger. I could see this being a very, very awesome, just one and done eyeshadow. Um, and yeah, I just, I've never tried a texture like this and I think that's what makes it so unique. Um, and I do think it pairs really, really nicely with the topper shade. Um, I just think like if the cream was sold by itself, I would still buy it. Um, however, I don't feel the same about the topper shade, but I do love this little duo. I think the packaging is really, really clever. I like how there's separation, but they still go together and I just think this is awesome. This would be a great thing to travel with, especially if you're someone that doesn't wear a lot of makeup, but you know, you want a little something something. Um, this is a beautiful shadow and I could definitely see this being just a go-to everyday type of look. And I'm curious to try it with some other powder shadows too and in different ways and doing more kind of like glam looks because today's look was very natural, but I think it's it's so pretty and I am so happy with <laughs> everything. Um, so yeah, this was really exciting to try. Let me know if you wanna see more videos on this brand or on either of these products. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe if you're not already and I will see you all again soon. Bye. Today's the day, the sun is shining, the tank is clean, tank is clean. All right, I need to stop being weird. Also, let me guys, let me guys, <laughs> wow. Oh god, fucking dropping things. Beep, boop, 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 boop. I literally got like snot on my beauty blender. That was so gross. I'm just gonna, 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 gonna.